Hey guys, so today we're going to start off with this wig cap. This is a dome wig cap. Um, they changed the packaging in the store. And this one feels a little bit more stretchier and like bigger. I don't know how I really feel about it right now. But yeah, we're starting off with a wig cap. And we're starting off with the 22 inch dome head as you guys can see. Um, I measured my client's head already. Um, now I'm going to pull the back down with my T-pins something that you most definitely need and you want to make sure that you measure the client's head around the head and make sure that you have all of the inches like off the font the heads to create their wigs so yeah everybody's not a 22 everybody's not a 24 um i have videos letting you know what all you need to make the wigs so i'll have that listed in the description box and yeah so yeah i'm basically putting the pins in where they need to be now i'm gonna line the closure up um the closure needs to be a little bit in front of the hairline if you want it to look like a frontal but if not you know you can make it look like a wig i don't like closure i don't like closures really that much or whatever um this is a four by four closure i prefer five by fives but yeah this is a four by four closure i'm taking it and placing it so we can draw our lines onto the cap so that that way we know where not to sew on the closure. This is very necessary, so you do need to do this. And I'm using a metallic marker. Um, this particular brand I don't really like so much because it dries out too fast, the marker. Um, so, yeah. I'm taking that and outlining it. And you really want to make sure you take your time and do this and place it the correct way, the closure correct way. Now I'm going to the back and I'm also drawing the lines as well at the back. And you just kind of want to try to make sure that your lines are very even. And you don't want to put the lines too close together because the wig would not stretch good if you put them too close together. So you want to separate them. And I know you're thinking, how's all the hair going to fit on it if you're drawing the lines kind of far apart? Um, you're going to see in the next clip. So yeah, basically you just want to draw the lines. Y'all, my pen was running out. <laughs> I had to stop this video and go to the store and get, get another pen. So yeah, you just want to make sure you have a couple of metallic pens on deck. Or you can use makeup if you want, but who's trying to waste their makeup? Not I. I just thought this would be a good video to show y'all and give y'all some free knowledge, okay? Because there's too much free knowledge out here to be going to take these high classes. Um, and I also use zigzag stitch. I don't think I showed you guys that on the machine but yeah i use zigzag stitch to sew this together and this is what we're looking like guys i'm going to take the closure off and unpin it because um, we're going to sew the closure on last some people might sew theirs on before but i just feel like it'll be in the way so it just makes sense to sew it on last you already got your outline of where it's going to be at so you shouldn't have any issues with that yeah guys this is what we're looking like so here i'm going to sew the bundles together like i'm going to take two of the tracks and you know how you unravel a bundle and it's already kind of together you basically want to sew that together um and i only use two bundles for this because this was a bob i didn't want it to be too full um and i didn't do all of the bundle. i mean the whole bundle like this so I cut some of the track off and I singled some of them and then I went back and doubled. This is basically like doubling the wefts on a sewing machine. So that you can fit all the hair on. Now I'm putting some, my three head popped out of there. So I'm putting some three back in there. Probably a little blurry. 
and i use all purpose thread you could use whatever thread that you like but the half store thread didn't fit in my needle the thread that i normally use to sew my wig it didn't fit in there um they do have bigger needles so yeah um but the all purpose thread worked perfectly fine so you don't have to go and get a bigger needle so basically here i'm just holding the track together and yeah this, this is my first track so on oh, it looks so freaking good and i'm showing you guys you place the track on the line before you put it under the machine or whatever works for you sometimes i put it on there before i start and sometimes i put it on there after i put it in and at the back i'm doing single tracks right now until i move up to the top i'm gonna use the double well and my sewing machine is a brother sewing machine. You don't have to get no fancy expensive sewing machine. I think this one was about $79 uh, from Walmart. So, yeah. I'm basically placing it on the machine. And as you can see, that lever I hit, that basically pushed the, the thing down. I don't even know what it's called. And I pushed my needle down into to the... Um, if you really want to know how to sew, go watch a sewing video to see how you set up your machine. I already knew how to sew prior to. So, or if y'all want me to do a video like that, like setting up the machine and what's everything on the machine, like a thorough breakdown of the machine, let me know. Because I'll do that for you guys. But yeah, I'm just sewing it. And I'm going to also get a better angle for you guys. This is the back, back of the machine. I'm just sewing it on down. As you can see, I took a pause because I had to cut the track to continue to sew. As you see, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm cutting the track and I'm gonna sew right there. And you wanna make sure that you stay on the lines that you drew. So, like the first time I did this, it took me a little longer because I was new at it. So, yeah, but it's so much faster on the sewing machine. Now it takes me like 45 minutes to hour to make a wig, like in no time. And I can offer my clients same day service if this is what they want. So, yeah, and I can sit down and make the wig. It's just so much better. Look how neat that is, guys. It just looks so nice. So here I am again, so showing y'all, measure it up with the line that you have. And the sewing machine kind of sews for you. So measure it up with the line, put your lever down, and put your needle down into the, um, the track and begin to sew. And I use the same stitch. I don't switch up, zigzag stitch. And you just wanna Continue to sew that and I backstitch. Um, I'm gonna show y'all what that looks like as well. But basically, when you first put the track on, you want to backstitch, and when you don't, um, and when you get to the end of the track of the cap, you want to backstitch. Okay. Now I'm cutting the track right there, and then I'm gonna backstitch. That backstitch button that I'm pointing at, that's what you're backstitch with. So you wanna sew it all down first, like keep on sewing it, and then you backstitch. So I do that about two times, just to ensure that the track isn't going anywhere. And I pull that out, and I cut it on the side. You can use scissors, you don't have to use the side thing, but it's just easier. And you wanna make sure you also cut the thread, like the loose pieces. But I'm gonna show you guys that at the end, what I do. Cause I just try to help and make the wig instead of stopping and cutting and all that. But you do wanna take your time with this. You do not wanna stretch out the cap while you're sewing. That's a don't know. Because if you stretch out the cap while you're sewing, the wig gonna be too small. And even though you're sewing through the band, you took that person's measurements, it's not going to be too small. It's going to be perfect. So basically, when you measure somebody's head, you want to measure the circumference of their head. 
um, the nape area and back to front. So, yeah, honestly, they don't even matter. Honestly, the only thing that matters to me is the circumference of the head. You don't even have to know the nape area. Like, the wig will fit if you know the, the circumference of the head. So right here, I just flip the cap inside out with the hair on there. And I'm gonna take my scissors and cut the excess string that's on the cap. <clears throat> just to get it off there, the excess string. Just wanna clip away all those pieces. No, oh, it just looks so freaking neat and so clean. I love the way that it looks. It's everything. So now I'm gonna sew the closure on. Like I told you guys, you know, you sew this part on last. I'm gonna sew the closure on. Get her right, get her tight. Already bleach knots, that's why she's looking kind of wet right now because I bleach knots. So yeah. <laughs> So now we're going in and flat ironing the hair. And I said we because my mama came there and done this part because I just retired. So my mama flat ironed the hair and she cut the hair as well on my little sister's head. And yeah, I'm just going to let y'all watch the rest of the video. It's self-explanatory. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and learned some things. If you have any questions, you know, ask me in the description box. And yeah, I showed you guys how to put it on and everything. So yeah, if you guys want me to explain that, just let me know. Always talking about this camera. Oh, that's what you gotta do to put that thing on there. Oh, yeah, that's what you hear tight. Yeah, I mean, not super duper tight, but you, feel, you know it's on there. Yeah, it's human. I'm, I'm shocked this wig, like, I mean, this cap feel like big. Mm -hmm. I said, like, coming broke. Yeah, broke. I'm not talking about your ring. Oh, what? what the light? This is so much light. Yeah, I can't see. I'm not going to be able to see my... You can't see. Can you turn it down? Yeah, I can turn it down.
right here I just cut the lace off and I did zigzag motions while cutting the lace so it wouldn't be a straight across harsh line so yeah you just want to cut the lace off and I also sprayed it down with some free spray so it could lay like, flat 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 and yeah it looked like it's melting and I also went in and put some makeup on the back of it too as well to match her skin tone and we didn't use a, a skin tone colored cap because I just felt like that was unnecessary if we was going to put makeup on it. So, yeah. That's what she looking like. A snack. This was for her prom. Y'all should go follow me on Instagram, underscore Ray Fears, to go see when I do clients. Because I don't post all the time or record them all the time. So, I hope you guys enjoyed.